is this the best TSM team yet? When Reggie let me go, he basically like sat me down and said like, he just didn't think I caught it and my personality, like the way I acted wasn't good enough, um, which in the moment was pretty hard to like take. I didn't even know if this was what I wanted to do anymore because I just realized how much I had to improve on and I didn't know if like I would be able to improve on all that to become a successful player again. My name is Lucas Larsen, but people might know me as Centaurin. TSM, they made a roster change in the offseason. Yeah. Everyone knows it. Santorin has replaced Amazing in the jungle. And historically, TSM's been a little bit of a slow starter in seasons. That's true. I think what I mainly remember from TSM is the high highs and low lows. Um, I think my first split, like spring split, we did really, really well. Team Solo mid persevere. Yeah. Fuck yeah. does a little bit where they finish while Turtle off. Spear. It's gonna be a Spear to trade it back. Turtle gets healed up, stays alive. I love Santorin on Nidalee. He is so reliable with that champion. Two more kills picked up by Santorin to the back line. That's Whoa. gonna get jumped on as well. You talked about reliable. Congratulations on winning the award. Got rookie of the split. We won in ALCS. The Nexus falls and Team Solomon are the 2015 Spring Split champions. We won Katowice. It definitely felt great when we were winning on TSM. Um, I feel like I was on top of the world, basically. We had a slump at some point. I remember spring and summer, but like Reggie would step in. And he was like really harsh and like really just like straight in your face. And back then I, I didn't take that kind of criticism as well. It felt like a personal attack more so than just like trying to help me. I mean, that's probably one of my biggest regrets because I think actually Reggie was like probably the smartest person around in TSM. And like what he said was for sure true. You guys can fight, you guys have to be there and word ahead of time and go all in. Like back when I was 17 or 18, like I, I just wasn't prepared mentally. I was not self-aware enough, I was too immature, I was bad at taking criticism. Like, I didn't get my group, I had to make two times. Yeah, so no, but I need vision. Sorry, so, like, th those things just like stacking up together just became a bigger issue than it should have been. One of the things that I did not do well was like controlling the early game. And I think it was first at Worlds where it was really brought up to me, yo, hey, Centaurin, you, you gotta control the early game. You gotta make the calls, you gotta like basically do the entire early game first. Like just like the way you communicate, what you wanna play for, all that kind of stuff. And I had never done anything like that before. Oh no. Santorin's caught! Could be trouble there, Stun's landing. TBQ is gonna keep slapping away. Santorin, he'll flash body slam away, but they will chase. LGD gonna get a kill back. My teammates, they're all like way more experienced and I didn't wanna look like that guy, you know, like that guy that just doesn't understand anything and and I think that was also the wrong perspective. I should just have seen myself as a rookie and just be like, hey guys, help me. Now I was playing against really good players and they took advantage of me. What can TSM do aside from run and cry and lick their wounds? Santorin gonna be the last one to go down. It just got worse and worse for me. It felt like I was just like in this massive like hole where like I just couldn't climb up because everyone was just like pushing me down. Like all the good junglers was like pushing me down again because I'll be honest, I was probably one of the worst, worst junglers at Worlds, so. Like, I expected the entire time that I was probably not going to be playing for TSM anymore. GCU twice. Energy, we got demoted. Between TSM and FlyQuest, I went through three relegations and I lost all three of them. Like ever since TSM, it just felt like it was like a downhill. Well, it's like very hard uphill battle, but I was always going down the hill. At some point, I was just like, why, like, why am I here still? Like, what is the reasoning behind like going through this kind of torture? So it definitely hurt my reputation. On top of that, it was really hard for me to like see me getting on another team. 
But then I was contacted by FlyQuest um, about potential tryouts. Th they needed to have a tryout because like with my track record, like, God, man, is this guy worth it? But they took the leap of faith to like, basically like hire me again. And that's something that I, I really want to like, I, I want to return the favor by, by like winning. But I felt really rusty in the beginning. I was doing really poorly and Sane was definitely, he, he was tough on me for sure. He basically told me at one point where like, you don't even like, do these things. And like, if you don't even do that, like you're not even worthy of being an LCS jungler. And now as I'm way more mature, I was like, damn, you're right. Like, thank you. Like you, he's like really trying to help me improve. And now I see it and I understand it. Every single player will see things in you that you have to change. And you just have to be open to that kind of criticism and understanding he's just here to make us better, man. And every team I've been on that does well, that's teams that are good at criticizing each other. And the teams that are doing bad, we never have those like heated arguments where we really sit down and like talk about this is why we're a bad team. If you don't have those, sure, like if you're good friends, but you'll never be a successful team. Let's talk about Santorin, because this is a guy who throughout his entire career, uh, we've always raised the question, how good is he really? I feel like how my career went from my rookie year to now, way too bumpy. So I just like wanted to make sure that Viber, I basically looked at my past and how I acted throughout situations, and I just tried to make sure that those bumps were not as hard for him. You know, I was confident coming from academy that I'm just gonna be fine. I'm gonna get rookie of the split easy. And then we had a really bad slump. That's when like it felt like blame was shifting towards me. I'm like, wow, guys, stop teaming up on me. What's going on? Centaurin was like, you have to take this more seriously, man. He's just straight up telling me, dude, you can't do this. You can't do that. Fix it. Like, I'll help you fix it, but fix it, please. And don't get offended because everyone wants you to get better. It's your rookie split. Stop wasting it. You're a really good player. You're going to get where you want to be. FlyQuest, if they get this victory, they will secure their playoff spot, and they know it. We can set ourselves up really well for playoffs, okay? That's all I got to say today. No cheesy shit. Yo, it's <laughs> Sunday. Let's fucking do it. FlyQuest on three. One, two, three, FlyQuest! How cool would it be for them to be able to do it against Team Liquid, who, as we already said, only a single loss so far this split. Smithy is actually expecting this. He doesn't go to the enemy Krugs. He goes to his Raptors to defend it, and he finds it oh, for it! I might be dead here. I'm dead. I'm for okay. sure dead. Okay. We can play off on Vayne still. That's, okay. uh, that's my bad. See you later. It's first blood over to Team Liquid. Double finishes off, and Smithy's not done. OK, he's flushed. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Uh, no, no, uh. Oh, wow. OK. Oh, that was so bad. Careful, careful. I think you should have pulled Rexai, Lucas. I could have killed him. But it's okay. The other thing that's important to remember when Skarner's on the map, always the possibility of one pull, one fight, one game. What I'm looking at now on Santorin is can you make one of those big pulls? I can predator. Look at her, look at her, look at her. Oh, there we go. That's what you need to do right there. I'm looking at I'm looking at up. Santorin finding that target without the QSS. FlyQuest have done an amazing job coming back into this game. Everybody away, Baron down to about 4K. Turtle looking to find the kill, and Smithy's out! FlyQuest could likely secure the Baron here for themselves. Impact trying to go in, keep them away from this one. If he can, Baron gonna be taken down to 1,000. FlyQuest! Taken out. FlyQuest are right back in this game! <laughs> I'm really glad Santorin was there to be like, I went through this, I was getting blamed a lot, it's fine, like it happens. If no one was there to tell me their experiences off of like their rookie splits, I don't think I'd like, I'd be confident. Yeah, I've always been like pretty rough on him, but I've always ended up telling him like, everything is good, you're improving a lot, and as long as you keep improving, like, th there's nothing that can stop you, right? Here we go. Viper wants to go in and try to stop this one. World Ender in the middle. Baron gonna be down to 4K. Impact taking long. I'm looking at Vayne. Yeah, I'm on I'm on Vayne. I'm dead. Look at Vayne. Look at Vayne. She's done. Get her. Nice. He's dead. He's taken down. The shutdown put over for World Ender. Turtle and Viper on the next step. Ladies and gentlemen, FlyQuest defeats Team Liquid. Till it goes away. Thank you, team. Thank you, team.
<laughs> oh, that was on me, you guys. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you just gotta hand it to him. FlyQuest showing a lot of grit in this game. To go down the way they did against the best team in the league and to claw back in it in the way that they did. They'll feel very good moving towards the postseason. I think the only thing I'd change about my career, if I could, was just how I acted on TSM. Because I think that was the biggest letdown in terms of like what I could have achieved. And that's something I'm always gonna look back on. Like it's always gonna haunt me because God, I could have got so much more out of that opportunity, right? It sucks, but Overall, I think like me going through all those Challenger Series teams, it has just made me a better leader and a better player, and in general, just a better teammate. I definitely think this is a completely new chapter in my career, and I only see it going up right now. If I didn't have this opportunity, I'd for sure be so mad at myself. Why did I play like three or four years for nothing? If I didn't get on FlyQuest, maybe it wasn't worth it at all, right?